Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> it's been quite a week around here. Okay, video this week. I'm gonna have to like keep these paper in front of me so I remember. All right, so what do Bill and I have in common with John Legend and Chrissy Teigen with uh, Joe Jones and Sophie Turner? Oh yeah, the Keith Urban and Nicole Kidman. Tina Fey and Jeff Richmond, Sonny and Cher. What do we have in common? What do we share? Are you curious? Well, I'm telling you, sometimes it's the elephant in the room. Hang on, before we go there, thanks for being here, you guys. All my regulars, I really appreciate you coming by and watching my videos all the time. I really appreciate your support. And of course, any comments and likes and thumbs up, I really appreciate all of that. Now, uh, if you're on my channel for the very first time, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel, that little red subscribe button right there, ring the bell, the very top one. And all that means is you're gonna get an email that, hey, Lady's put on a video and it's all free. And I would really appreciate your support. And let me know that you're new. You know, if you're new and uh, you're a creator, I'd love to come and check out your channel. And if you are an organic viewer, that means you don't have a channel, but you do come on YouTube, I would really appreciate you joining us as well. I'm like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. They say you should have a niche on YouTube. I figure if I can be 70 years old, that's a niche on its own. So it's every, I have everything on here. So just check out a playlist and hopefully I'll have something in there that you're going to like. All right. I'm just going to, as I'm doing our little talk, I'm going to put little clips in of when Bill and I got married. Yes, last Sunday, Bill and I celebrated our 27th wedding at 27th wedding anniversary. It's, um, I have a dry mouth. <laughs> uh, we each, as you, I know, most of you probably know, it's our second marriage for both of us. I was married for 20 years before Bill and I got married and Bill was married for 25 years. And then we got together and we got 27 years now. And so in these little clips that you see, uh, I'm 43 and 50. Okay, so um, we decided we go to San Francisco and have a blast. And like I say, as I go along, I'll put little clips in because it really was a fabulous four days. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. About two years ago, a very, very good girlfriend of mine and she's known both Bill and I before we were married. And she all of a sudden, out of the blue, said to me, has it ever bothered you that Bill's shorter than you? What? No. No. What? And it was like, do you know, I know it's not news. I know he's shorter than me, but maybe he's not. Maybe I'm taller than him. If, remember, everything is perception. I'm from Holland. I'm a Dutch girl. Tallest people in the whole world. So maybe he's not that short. Maybe I'm just extremely tall. But does it really matter? I have never thought about it. Not for, not for a second. Do you know what? He has always stood six foot five in my eyes. The guy's successful. He's got an awesome personality. He's a, he's a jock. You know, he loves sports. I mean, he loves to ski and golf and hockey. Yeah, he doesn't do, well, he still golfs. He's still an unbelievable golfer. But, um, no, geez, I was so surprised. I think I was surprised because I thought, really? Is, I guess that's how people see us sometimes or maybe a lot of people do. He's shorter, she's taller. Well, you know what? I'm just thinking I've probably arrived in the right crowd. I, you know what? I'd be happy to stand beside uh, Nicole Kidman and, and Keith Urban. Are you kidding me? Or Sonny and Cher? 
or T Tina Fey, or yeah, Cameron Diaz. You guys got to go to Google and Google these people. So I think that Bill and I have arrived in a really great place, and maybe we're even trendsetters because I think we're older than all of them. So it's just never ever come into it. But funny enough, I was thinking back and I said to Bill the other day, I said, I can remember one time him and I were going out and one of the girls said, mom, you're not wearing those high heels. You're gonna be so much taller than Bill. And I thought, I was that much taller than Bill when I met him and it never bothered him then. Although I think he had a moment. I think he might discuss that with you in another video. He actually said he did have a moment but he got over that really quick. Do you know what? We just came be together because of the heart and how we felt about each other. And what I loved about our relationship, he's so secure, he knows who he is. And I knew who I was, by then I had learned who I was, even though a lot of people tried to change that for me. I was very, very determined about who I was. So we brought a lot to the table for each other. Not ever did he say to me, Oh, you know, um, I don't think you should do that. I've, you know what? I know it's really probably sound. I have never asked him for permission for anything. I mean, we talk about decisions we've made, but I've never asked him permission for anything. He has supported me in everything that I have ever done. He has never said no. We might talk something through. I don't know. I just, I could probably go on about this forever, but I just really want to share it because I don't want any of you young women or young men to miss out on meeting a, a absolutely fabulous person that could you could have the most wonderful relationship with the rest of your life because of stature because of body size or height or whatever i mean you could be missing out on the most wonderful relationship ever. Just remember, I had to actually find a word to bring it all together. Oh, I, you know what? And I had to put it on my iPad um, just so I say it sort of some of the meaning and it's perception. And I think that was the word that came to mind. And I went, so is that, that must be the perception that some people have when they see us. They don't think of like Lady and Bill or, you know, this like awesome couple or whatever. Some people actually go, well, she's taller than him and, and he's shorter. Like, are you kidding me? Well, anyway, perception. So this is what happened to me, I think, when she said it. The uh, physiological zoolo zoology, all right, the neuro, uh, the neuro, the neurophysiological process that was a big one, including memory by which an organism becomes aware of and interprets external stimuli. Well, I think that's what happened that moment with my girlfriend and I. And she, I was, I guess I was just shocked. I just didn't think anybody saw us that way because I don't see us that way. So anyway, guys, enjoy the little bit that's left of the video that way over there. Uh, our wedding, uh, just go over this real quickly. This was very quick. We didn't put a whole lot of planning into it. I got my flowers on the street, uh, just outside of Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, they made them like in the morning and we picked them up in the afternoon. We got married at three o'clock at C City Hall in San Francisco. Uh, we stayed at the, uh, I'll put it up on the villa, um, Florence. I'll put their little card up there. It's still there, actually. We were there on our 25th wedding anniversary. And um, our um, limo driver, Tom, who we hired for the four days that we were there, and he is the one, when you see us standing outside the car, outside the limo talking, we had nowhere to go for dinner. And he said, hey, I've got, I don't know, whether it was his cousin or a family member, had a fabulous Italian restaurant and they welcomed us with open arms. It was about, I think, 12 of us there. We had a wonderful, wonderful dinner. They did an unbelievable job. You could not have planned a wedding like this like 18 months ahead of time. And uh, when we're having drinks, we're actually at the top of the mark. Okay, guys, well, enjoy our little wedding clip.
And uh, yeah, so give me your feedback. Would you, would you go out with a woman that's taller than you? Would any of you ladies go out or even marry somebody shorter than you? Like, what are your thoughts? I'd love to hear it. It's not gonna change mine. My guy's six foot five. Just don't find anybody with attitude. Sometimes people, because of their stuff that's going on with them, they have like a real, I think they call it Napoleon, Napoleon syndrome. You don't wanna go there. That's really not a good idea. Bye guys, love you. See you next week.